What is up my friends? I am not okay with this. So this is a show that came out back in February and for the longest I was gonna watch this show and make a video for it and then things just started to go a little like wonky everywhere and it, it was just not a good time, right? So this is a show that I just currently watch during this whole um, staying at home and all of that and I've been watching a couple of the shows and I want to do videos on even though they've been out for maybe like a week or a couple of months now. So the next show I'm going to be doing is The Outsider. I'm halfway through it and I'm definitely going to be doing a video for that because I need to do a video for that. But this is a show that I was like going to watch when I heard about it. I saw the trailer and everything. Then it came out and I forgot to watch it. I forgot to even um, look into it. And then as I was scrolling through Netflix one night, when because you know sometimes you just scroll and scroll and you pass like a shitty ton of TV shows and movies that you've never even heard of. And you're wondering, is this Netflix or is this the $5 bin at Walmart? But nonetheless, I came across the show and I was like, hey, I was supposed to watch that. I saw how short it was, binged it all in the night. So I am not okay with this is a show that is pretty much an it reunion, mini reunion, if you will. And I, I enjoyed it very much so. So the show deals with this girl who pretty much is going through a hard time. Her father just committed suicide and she doesn't have the greatest relationship with her mother and her and her brother, younger brother, are dealing with all of this baggage and they're trying to just get through things and to top it all off she is sort of in love with her best friend but her best friend is dating the school asshole so I mean if you can get it more complicated than that I don't know what else will. So the character Sid who was played by Sophia Lillis is about to discover that she actually has superhuman abilities and before you think this is going to go into some superhero type deal it goes more chronicle on your ass so there's that um so pretty much she has sort of like i would say telekinesis so she can control things by force and she can lift things with her mind and things start to get a little scarier as the story progresses as she finds out more and more of her powers might not be okay uh, being used because the thing is that she can't actually control these powers that well. She actually is only able to use them throughout the whole series if she in fact has like some anger built into her. And she meets up with a guy named Stanley who is played by Wyatt Olaf who actually plays Stanley in It. So there you go. So It Reunion, right? So she and Stanley start to figure out her powers over time. Stanley has a thing for her in the beginning, but then we realize that she really doesn't like Stanley. She's actually in love with Dina, her best friend, who's played by Sophia Bryant. And Stanley comes to accept this, and they become very good friends. And he's there to help her, and he says he is her mentor. So there's that. Now, what we come to see towards the end, however, as I said, is that Sid cannot control these powers and it all comes to a, like, explosive ending, literally, when they go to their homecoming dance and the asshole who her friend had been dating before, who they're not dating now because he actually cheated on her friend, now is reading Sid's diary where she talks about her um, crush on Dina and how she hates um, the guy I, for, I forgot his name actually oh Bradley that's his name Bradley Brad so he's reading it he's drunk he's at the homecoming and he's about to read the part where she talks about her powers and everything that's happened with them and then she just makes his head completely explode and the whole homecoming bloody as hell gives you those like carry uh vibes which i enjoyed very much so to see and then she just goes on the run she goes to a fort type place not fortnite but a fort type place and we see a character a shadowy figure actually to be more precise appear behind her and say it's time and we now are like holy shit my goodness we're about to get into some x-men shit right I don't know. <laughs> That's just my thoughts. But many people are speculating that the character, the shadowy figure, is actually her father. And this is what the director uh, for the show had to say about the ending. I want to make sure that Sydney is essentially a chosen one. The only one right now. And she absolutely hates that. And she has to come to terms with what it means to do that. There is 
without going into much detail, a much bigger under the surface conspiracy, if you will, that goes back much, much further to do with the powers that will then come to light for the subsequent seasons where she and her powers, being the most powerful, will be used to somebody else's gain and or not, depending on where we go. So, the director has pretty much gone on to say that we have a ton of material we can work with. Now, this is based on a graphic novel. I'm not too sure how far the graphic novel has gone on with the story. I haven't gone into details myself looking into that, but I will definitely do that, and I will make a follow-up video if y'all want. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If we get 100 likes, I'll do it. If not, I'll still do it maybe, but let's get to 100 likes. Really appreciate that. But as I said, Season 2 has not yet been announced, and I'm pretty sure it has to do with everything that's going on because a lot of new Netflix shows have not gotten their next season announced yet on my blog, Money Heist, Ozark, or even Outer Banks. And these are shows that did pretty good when they first came out. So you know there's a season coming next for them. But I'm pretty sure with everything going around that Netflix is treading carefully to see exactly when they can start production on a lot of these shows. So with that being in mind, I do believe the show is going to get a season two. Highly, highly popular show. Definitely was on the uh, trending list when it first came out. And it stayed there for a while. And I would be very, very much so disappointed if they didn't make at least a movie follow-up if they don't want to continue the seasons because the story is intriguing, characters are likable, and the production quality is insane, especially the sound in this. So I would very much so be disappointed if we don't see them come back to sort of wrap up the story, if you will. Because now the biggest question is, do people now believe Sid caused Brad's head to explode? Or what other, like, logical explanation would there be for his head to explode, right? I mean, I don't see how you can correlate Sid and Brad and then his head exploding that Sid has powers, right? If you're in that situation, not as a viewer watching the show, but as a person experiencing this, would you really think this girl just made his head explode or what exactly happened? I mean because it exploded it's like there was nothing else it wasn't like a gunshot or something like that or like he got pushed it just exploded so it, it's very interesting to see how the characters and everybody will react to this and i'm pretty sure that dina is going to want answers even though she had said before that she was fine with sid not telling her everything i think right now at this moment dina is like i need to know what the hell's going on so that's going to be interesting right there and the shadowy figure being her father i'm not sure if that would be the way to go or if it's somebody maybe that her father knew or just maybe the power manifested itself and it sort of turned into some my hero academia thing with like an all my character going there to teach her but that's how all stories go right anyways i do think that season two will definitely be seeing Sid be sort of an outcast and I don't think she's going to be interacting with many people like that. At most, I think Stanley and her will definitely be together to deal with all of this and I think that she will avoid Dina as much as possible for purposes of keeping her safe or out of like uh, people resenting Dina for maybe being around uh, Sid for what happened to Brad because Brad was a pretty popular guy in the high school. So, I don't know, the season two can go either way, and as the characters um, develop themselves further, it should be interesting, uh, but the director said it himself, there's a lot of things that they have to tell, twists, turns, that we probably don't see even coming, conspiracies, so, I don't know, I'm excited to see a season two, but as of yet, as I said, we have not got an announcement whatsoever about when we would be getting this uh, season two, but in the meantime, we can just wait and see i'm definitely going to be checking out the graphic novels and see what they got and if you want me to do a video make sure you comment below and give this video a thumbs up so i know but anyways let me know your thoughts below on what you think would be coming a season two what who do you think the shadowy figure is as i said i think it's just the power manifested into some uh physical form of itself and what do you think is going to happen with sid and how do you think the show will end let me know below as well but anyways, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that like, comment, share, all that good stuff on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We're so close to 14,000, we can get there. I know we can. So make sure you keep sharing, keep liking, subscribing, all of that. We talk anime, movies, music, TV shows, all that good stuff you love. And if you have any suggestions on any shows, please leave them below. I always take suggestions. This is how I got suggested 
all most of the shows I've been watching during this whole thing. So make sure you leave them below. I always read the comments and try to respond as much as I can. And I'll be doing a lot of more of that pretty soon. Make sure you follow me on Twitter for more updates as I go. I'm trying to be better on Twitter and also on Anchor. That's where I post all of these videos in audio format to take them on the go. As well as some other uh, stuff that doesn't make it onto the channel. Just so I don't crowd the channel too much. But anyways, as always, I'll see all of you next time. And stay safe. Stay positive, my friends.